talked about it. So I, I'm, every time I release a song, I'm a new artist. You know, right. uh, I'm, a, I'm an overnight success after 20 years. Of that. Well, that's awesome though. That's why <laughs> well, that's what we always do. Uh, I explain to people the reason I ask that is because you know there's all these artists. I'm like, that's a great song. You know, great great single for you. And he's like, well, it's our fifth. I'm like, yeah. oh, oh great. Uh, because my library was completely gone. I had to rebuild the Texas Country Library when I took over. So it was like, oh. I don't uh, have I, any of your prior singles. The last, know. the last thing we released was a song called Carolina, uh, off of that, uh, the Rosewood Tapes Volume One. Okay. And before that was uh, they found me in a honky tonk. All right, cool. Uh, cool. And then before that there was the Gold Digger song, and that was years ago. Yeah. So we well, haven't had it a while. Yes, yeah, uh, like you said, you've been doing this for a, for a while yet. Now, it's um, it's obviously in the bloodlines. Yep, yep. You know, we want to talk about that a little bit and give a shout out, huh? There's a there's a gene. Uh, Somewhere in there that that makes us want to play music. And yeah, yeah. I uh, I have a daughter. Uh, I used to joke about her being my retirement plan. Right. Now I can't joke about it anymore because it's coming true. She's on a uh, uh, American Idol this season. Right. Her name's Lacey K. Booth. Lacey K. Booth. So if you're a fan of American Idol, you obviously know who this person is. And I got her daddy sitting right here. And if you're not a fan of American Idol, she'll make you a fan of American Idol. Well, I'm telling you, I'm excited because we didn't watch it this year, and not for any other reason why we just didn't have time to watch it this There's year. There's still time. Yeah, so we got time to go check it out. And I was telling her I might have to come a, become a fan just just because I know I know her daddy now. Yep. You know, so I'm excited about that way. I can I can see here when she wins, I'm like, ah, I knew her daddy way back when. Yeah, her dad's kind of cool, but man, she's way better than him. <laughs> way better. Hey, well, isn't that what we want for our kids to be better than Absolutely. us? And <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I asked for that, and I've got answered. Man, that that is awesome, you know, because those competitions are so, I don't want to call them cutthroat, but they're so tough, you know, yeah. and it's not just, they get up there and they sing, and that's what we see here, but from what I understand and what I've heard talk to other folks who've been through them, they're rough, man. As, as, as far as I know, I don't I don't get to talk to her much, but uh, she's she's uh, working pretty hard out there, yeah. and uh, I mean, she had to beat out Ameri the rest of America. Uh, well, I'll tell you, top season. five, right? So that, does that mean that she's gonna, she's no matter what, she's like gonna go on tour with them? Uh, if they do a tour, I, yeah, I think they're. As far as I know, yeah. I'm yeah. still holding on to the Fox American Idol. I don't remember. That's how they used right. to do it. But I don't know what ABC does now. I didn't even know they changed it until uh, <laughs> until she got on it. Right. Well, I mean, but that's uh, that's gotta be. I just can't imagine that feeling, especially when it's something you do already. Yeah. You know, and so you growing up singing, I guess obviously you encouraged that with her. Uh. Well, I didn't discourage it. Right. I, I was. It, it scared me because it's hard for a male in this in this business. Yeah. It's tr it's triple hard for for a female artist, no matter how good you are. And I hate that because yeah. there's so many good ones. I got friends uh, that are great. And it is really hard, and I, and I don't know why that is. You know. I don't understand it. When I took over here, and <laughs> I ain't scared to say, when I took over here, I was they had a professional guy in here, and he was showing me. He's, uh, they, he downloaded my program list for me and said, here, here's who you're going to play. Here's uh, here's your list. This is what we want you to do. And I was like, first off, nah, <laughs> don't give me a list. I'll, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. <laughs> but that's cool. I'll go buy some of it. And he's like, no matter what you do, don't play two girls back to back. And don't, this is like, these are like radio rules, right? And, and like the, the mixture should be like 70-30 men to women. I'm like, dude, but if it's a good song, it's a good song. After, uh, after Labor Day or after Memorial Day, you you can't wear black, and, yes. and and you can't play a slow song. That's right. Women then sit in the back. You know? <laughs> I mean, you can't. What is that? You know, I'm like, dude, this is 2000. At the time 2017. I'm like, I'm gonna play it if it's cool. You're gonna try to tell me I can't play like Reba right next to Patty Loveless? <laughs> I'm like, come on now. You Man. know. <laughs> Like, what if I'm running a contest and want two songs that sound similar or have the same theme? Right. Can I play them together then? Like, are these rules written down? <laughs> like, I didn't go to DJ school. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> DJ, DJ U. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go. I don't know the rules. <laughs> so, that, but then you're right, man. It's hard. It's, it's tough. And, uh, and especially if, and I don't, I don't know your daughter to have a senior, especially if she's not completely cookie cutter. You know, right. if, if you look if you look a little different no matter what. If you're not blonde and. Well, she's gorgeous. She looks well, just like me. Oh, I, oh, then there you go. Uh, so, no, she looked like me. She, they didn't ever let her in the building. Um, but no, she, uh, she's, um, she's, she's got a road ahead of her, but she's doing great. She's uh, super proud, and uh, she's got it in her blood. Uh, my mama uh, plays fiddle, guitar, piano. Is uh, that where you picked it all up? Yeah, childhood, I, growing up with it. I would have been put up for adoption probably if I hadn't learned because my. My, that whole side of the family plays an instrument. Well, but it does sound like you're, you know, you were a little apprehensive. It's like a, a football coach or a football dad who played, or any kind of sports dad who played professionally is kind of like, I don't want you playing I'm, football until you're a senior in high school, if at all. 
you know. Right. I, I'm not going to push you to, into it, but I'm not going to hold you back. Sure. Because you know, she loves it. She got somebody clapped for her one time. <laughs> there it is. And hooked, right? Done. Done. Uh, no way, I can't imagine that feeling. <laughs> you know, if I, they clap for me, it's because I put it down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now we can go back to serving at Cracker Barrel happily. <laughs> you know? Of course, they like to, they get mad at Cracker Barrel when you grab that little ukulele guitar and play it that was in the for sale. Put that down. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. On the radio, you are a DJ. You're not good at that. <laughs> so put down the guitar. All right, so speaking of talent, though, I'd like to hear something from you. I know everybody listening would like to hear something from you. Okay. Give them um, another side of Jody. Here's something that they didn't hear on the single. Well, now I have drawn a blank. Any? Uh, so, okay, something on the new uh, the Rosewood tapes that you can't get. Here, right here first. Uh, okay, so let me let me do this. I'm gonna look at the back of it to see what I want to play. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm gonna play this one right here. Awesome. Uh, this is um, an on tune. This is a out of tune guitar. Uh, I'm pretty loud, so that's yeah, all good. But we're an out of tune station. Out of tune because I care. This is um, this song right here uh, actually. My daughter, Lacey K. Booth, is is on it. Um, this is a song about my mama's Martin guitar. Okay. Uh, it's a little sacrilegious to play it on a Gibson, and uh, but uh, it's it's her old uh, Martin D16 guitar. I, I've carried it all over the world, and uh, and I, I wrote three songs for my dad uh, after he passed away that he never got to hear. So I said, "By God, I'm going to write my mama a song she can hear." So that's awesome. Man. So on this track, on this record, uh, is her fiddle. We snuck her fiddle out. My fiddle player, Mike Kelly, is playing on it, uh, playing her fiddle on it. I'm playing her Martin guitar, and her grandbaby, Lacey, is uh, Bailey's sister, is is uh, uh, singing harmony and a, and a small part in it. But, but I'm gonna sing the whole thing. Dude, that is awesome. Since she's not here. Scratched up, cracked, and bruised Like an old worn-out t-shirt Or a broken pair of shoes She's the feeling of a brand new love When it's just a start Yeah, she's my mama's Martin We've stayed up all Knocked down a time or two. We've been hated, we've been loved, but we've always stayed in tune. And we've always known we'll have a home if ever we're departing. Yeah, me and Mama's Martin. Her strings are dead and old. But she's worth her weight in gold And she's given up everything to give everything to me No, she don't belong to me She belongs to the sound Of a song written with her Her Sunday morning coming down she belongs to every song that she's played a part in. Yeah, she's my mama's Martin. Her strings are dead and old, but she's worth her weight in gold. And she's given up everything to give everything. I've been around this world And I've seen every sea But I've never been alone Cause she's been right there with me She's all I've always known She'll have a home If ever we're departing Yeah, me and Mama's Martin Yeah, me and Mama's Martin. There you 
go, man. Oh, oh well, that's good. Though. You know, I didn't I didn't play the wrong chords. This guitar did. That's how mad it was. <laughs> so it's all right. I was singing about a Martin. Yeah, it's it's not taking it. It's not. It's, yeah. it's called songwriting, not song remembering. <laughs> that's. I got to jot it down. You know, so, <laughs> it's somewhere. Yeah, it, it's it's all good. Man. <laughs> My it, phone died. It's it, that's what it was, man. No. I, I, no, you get the vibe, dude. I. I miss if you you had never said anything I'd have never caught it. Uh, well, that's that's my that's probably my biggest problem. I'll make a I'll hit a bad note on stage and I'll make a face. Yeah. And people are like, I think you messed up. I, I don't I don't oh, know. I didn't hear it. Trust me, that was one of the hardest things doing Facebook Live for our morning show. I'll say something stupid and I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> and, you know, and I can everybody can see me because oh he did that he did that on accident. <laughs> he did not mean to say that. <laughs> yeah, so, just 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 keep on walking. Just keep walk on right walking. Rub it off. We talk about your sound, man, and, and I got a koozie here. I'm looking at it, real country music, and we always talk about it here at KRUN. You know what what kind of music we spin and love to spin. You know, Texas country, traditional, Nashville. You know, we don't do a lot of the newer Nashville. It's yeah. Just not our thing. You know, good music, just not our thing. You know, there's there's so many subgenres. Uh, you know, I I just don't know where where to, where I, I fit except I know the word country. Right to the kind of music. Well, I play. even then, we label people Texas country or Americana, or red, well, dirt, or red dirt, red uh, dirt. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is, it's to me. It's going to change just to at this point traditional country. You're just country. Yeah, that's that's all I want to be. You know, just country, and you know, talking about your idols in life. You know, and I know one of them. You you briefly mentioned it. and You had a cool story to go along with it, and I like to hear it. Well, uh, the God rest his soul, Mr. Merle Haggard, let us open a couple of shows for him. And uh, before you get any farther. How cool is that? Uh, I mean, just... I was like, I was fangirling like yeah. you wouldn't believe. God. I mean, I might have squealed <laughs> uh, a little. There you uh, go. But uh, I got to we got I got to meet him. I got to get a picture with him. I, and I said, Mr. Haggard, I write songs and I sing them for a living. We're, we're opening for you. Um, and if you don't think I'm completely crazy, could you please uh, autograph my freshly shaven forearm? <laughs> So I can go have it tattooed, and I uh, always, I can look down at my arm and remember, always, never forget what kind of music I play. Yeah, he is not kidding. There is a Merle Haggard signature so tattoo on his arm. Yeah, I went that night to the the tattoo parlor, and uh, he did, he didn't finish his last name. Now does he? Oh well, see. Can you go to Pawn Stars for that? He started writing. Uh, I I didn't get a skin graft or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they need their, their signature verification process to verify that. <laughs> if you go to Vegas, there's a jar with some formaldehyde. And a, <laughs> oh, Jody fell on hard times. <laughs> <laughs> that dang blackjack table. Yeah. Um, no, I, uh, I, I told him, as he started writing, I said, you can sign it however you want. Because yeah. they call him the hag. I said, sure. sign it the hag or, or whatever. You, just M-H, whatever. And he, got, he was having a hard time writing on my skin. So he decided, well, he said to sign it the hag. So he stopped. At H A G, and I'm like, do you ask Merle Haggard to finish his own last name? I mean, yeah, you don't correct the man. No, I just said right? thank you and I left. Like you don't sit there and go, uh, excuse me, uh, <coughs> I believe you misspelled your last name. <laughs> uh, that's Bush League, Merle. <laughs> Come on, Merle. He probably it. knocked me out. Yeah, probably would. Or looked at you. That would have been yeah. a cool story. Though. Yeah, it would have been. You got arm signed and knocked out by Merle Haggard. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm knocked out, and he's down there rubbing it off. <laughs> that's, that's what. We're, <laughs> or write something you don't want to. Right. You can't put on there. <laughs> you know, yeah. no man, get that tattooed, boy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Only one person's ever asked. Said, "Do you have another man's name tattooed on your arm?" No, I have Merle Haggard's it's, name yeah, tattooed on my arm. That doesn't count. You don't understand. If you have to ask why that's relevant, then we shouldn't be talking about it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> get out of the pawn shop. Yeah. <laughs> I just need the. I'm just saying, you need that verification signature. <laughs> no, man, that is awesome, y'all. Seriously, Merle Haggard tattooed on his arm. I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't have anything cool like that. So. Well, I mean, I could. I could sign it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not Williams, gonna say I won't get it tattooed eventually. Hank Williams Senior. <laughs> just whatever you want, dude. <laughs> Who's your idol, Jeff? I'll sign whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine too, man. But though, that is awesome. I tell you what. What we do, we have creeped into the 12 o'clock hour because we don't care around here what <laughs> we're going to run and do. I want to hear another song from you, but I want to hear something tied into that because in the 12 o'clock hour here at KRU, what we do is we, talk, we do a way back Wednesday every Wednesday, and it, it, it kicks back to, we don't go that far back. It's 70s, 80s, 90s, but that's way back for some folks. Well, we do it in the 12 o'clock hour every day. We always play, we play nothing but 70s, 80s, 90s country in the 12 o'clock hour for the folks on the lunch hour to enjoy. I would mind hearing a song from you, a Merle song. 
You got it. In honor of that tattoo and our 12 o'clock hour way back time. I might know one. I bet, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. Jody Booth here in studio. I'll tell you what, man. Let's go ahead and roll with it. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you're ready, let's roll. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tune for the fine folks that are yeah. listening uh, and uh, tell a joke at the same time. Not, I'm not really. That's star power, y'all. <laughs> That's uh, uh, coordination. That's it, man. No, yeah, um, we, we decided to go that route with, with the 12 o'clock hour because I was like, you know what? People are on their lunch break, and they, they need to hear all kinds of good music. They hear it throughout the day. But at 12 o'clock hour, man, we'll solid just way back it. You know uh, man, I mean? thank y'all for that because there's not enough of that. There's no, not there, there's not, and that's why we love the format we're running with because of that. We like to push out that traditional, just that country music, man. Let's do... Um, I'll do my second favorite Merle Haggard song. Right, I'm not gonna, it's a pretty long one, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abbreviate it a little sure, bit. Sure, that's fine. I, I, I don't think Merle would mind. No, no. I call him Merle. You know, yeah, because you signed your arm. He abbreviated his name. He abbreviated yeah. his last name, so I'm going to abbreviate his song. <laughs> he, uh, he, this is not <laughs> one he wrote. Turn about fair play. <laughs> uh, song, I, I believe Red Lane wrote this song. All right. Drinks don't mix too well. Jukebox records don't play those wedding bells. Looking at the world through the bottom of a glass, all I see is a man who's fading fast. Tonight I Need my woman again. What a gift for my baby to just walk in. Sit down beside me and say it's all right. Take me home and make sweet love to me tonight. And I hear. Like I'm having a good time, any fool can tell that this honky talk heaven really makes you feel like hell. We want to forget Her life story and mine are the same We both lost someone Only have ourselves to blame And here I am again Mixing misery and gin all my friends and talking to myself. It looks like I'm having a good time. Any fool can tell. But this honky talk heaven really makes you feel like hell. Booth here in studio. Wow. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Awesome, man. Love it. That's in reference to, uh, if you missed it earlier, you're just tuning in late. The man's got a tattoo in his arm by the legend Merle Haggard. My hero. I got God one of him. one of our viewers here. So y'all got Merle Haggard coming Ballinger? That's <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> oh, no, well, we wish. But. Yeah, I know it. No, it's, it, well, I'll tell you, you might know him. You know Max Flynn? Uh... No, I know the name. Yeah, yeah, he's an artist. He's one of the artists too. Oh. Come in here and okay, and had a good time with us. So yeah, he's a 
He's 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 getting good on you, man. He's oh, is that? Uh, oh, the, he was uh, he was a joke. Yeah, he was. Uh, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I've had conversations before with some people talking about who I should bring into town, and sometimes it comes up they ain't around anymore. You, you, you should bring someone. You should bring Waylon back. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, if they if, if they said Earl Thomas Conley, I kind of would get it. You yeah, know, because I, I God bless him. It ain't yeah. been too long ago. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah. Earl's been a while. Waylon's been a <laughs> it's been it's been a minute. You know, uh, we miss him. No, but definitely, man. We, we miss that time that that type of country. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and, and it's it's sad that we, that we head in that direction as a as a, as a, a genre. But third third song, third song, we, we're about to write. We still got Willie. We still got Willie. Yeah. There you go. Let's wrap him in bubble tape. Dang, we still. You know what? Right now, honestly, there are I believe there are two Willie Nelson related songs on the charts, and that scares me because I hope you know the more songs you write about the man, the legend, or I, I don't know how to say. It. I don't want him to go anywhere. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, no, absolutely. You start writing songs about him. He started, uh, you know, doing his recreational thing so long ago. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to live to be about 160. It's natural. It's absolutely. all, it's, it's herbal, natural, holistic. And, and he will live to be 160. Stress is what kills you. It is. That, and you know, stressful. Willie ain't stressed. He is not stressed. <laughs> That's him. I mean, there's no, like, there's chemically no way for Willie to be stressed. <laughs> the IRS didn't even stress him out. <laughs> the, the millions did the stress Willie. <laughs> all right, y'all, we do. We have Jody Booth in the studio. Man, let them know where they can get your music from, bud. Uh, you can go to jodybooth.com and you can download the whole entire new uh, Rosewood Tapes Volume 2. Uh-huh. You can get Rosewood Tapes Volume 1 on uh, all you, anywhere you get music. Um, you can get our a couple of singles. I'm, I'm, I'm still practicing this. I, I don't know really all, all right. that information. Me we too. released uh, two songs off the new one so sure. far. Uh, in four months, you'll be able to get the whole thing anywhere. Right. But right now, you can only get it online at JodyBoothMusic.com. JodyBoothMusic.com. Check us out on Facebook at Jody Booth Music. We're on the Instagram and the Twitter and the... Uh, all over the interweb. Dude, I say the same. <laughs> the Contro Palace. Or come out to the Contro well, Palace what, tonight. If you like what you heard here and you want to see more live Jody Booth, you can make your way out to the Contro Palace tonight because you'll be doing it like you did it here, acoustic, up on stage. That's right, just me and the guitar. You'll, yeah. you'll see more live Jody Booth, and if you wait too long, you'll see some, you won't get to see live Jody Booth. That's right. You might have to see dead Jody Boo. <laughs> and that's not entertaining. That's not entertaining. Hey, so honestly, tonight though, Concho Palace, what time are you guys going? Uh, 9.30. And 9. that is, Concho Palace is out there. It is the, and I feel like I need to tell reminder, but that's the old Midnight Rodeo. You guys can head out there. It's Concho Palace. It's a great venue for country music. They specialize in country music, guys. I mean, they're talking, every guy they bring in has Jody's type of sound. So, you guys, get out there. Check him out tonight. It's a great way to, to, to hang out on a thirsty Thursday. You know, and listen to some live, uh, traditional acoustic. You don't even have to be thirsty. No. But, but come on out and drink but, anyway. But, yeah, it makes it a lot more fun, you know. <laughs> well, it does for me anyway. <laughs> so, go check him out, guys. He'll be there tonight, you know, at, at the Concho Palace. You can find his music everywhere. You can download music. Go to Jody Music or JodyBoothMusic.com. You can get the full album. Call us. Get a single, um, Life of My Love. You know, uh, great single. You know, we lo- love here. I know that's one of your favorites off of the album. It officially re- uh, releases on the 24th, but please, by all means, play it as much as you want. Get those, yeah, get them spans up, right? You know, uh, call us. You know, we'll put it on for you. Jody, man, thank you so much. You know, hey, tune in to American Auto. When's the next show? Uh, this Sunday. You might actually see my ugly mug because I'm flying out there to uh, support my baby girl. Gonna be, he's going to be an awkward parent in the, in, in the uh, audience who's doing that. I'm going to be the one uh, secretly filming Katy Perry. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Check his daughter out, Lacey K. Booth. Go find her on YouTube. Catch up on American Idol. See her Sunday night. Vote for her. Is it Please, a, it's a live right. show vote, right? It is. It is. Uh, America voted uh, to keep her. Let's keep her around. She's she, she's not that bad. All right. Better than me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Jody, man, thank you so much. We appreciate hey, it. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Thank All right, guys. It is 1210 here in the Agriplex. Appreciate you guys tuning in for us. Hey, share the video. Get Jody's uh, music out there. Call us up. Request his single. We appreciate everybody listening and tuning in, and we will see you guys tomorrow for a Finally Friday. Have a good one.